waiting. When we moved to our house nearly 19 years ago, there was ivy growing up the walls completely. And that was one of the first things that changed uh, in the garden. It made an enormous bonfire. Everything was a bit overgrown and I wasn't a very good gardener. One of the first tasks was building a patio. Uh, that was quite hard work for someone who doesn't know a lot about gardening. But it's been a great thing to sit out on and it's such a privilege to have a garden this size. Somebody gave me a plum tree. I think it was a Father's Day present. That's what it was. Uh, and that's grown beautifully. And we planted this wonderful tree in Asa, but we call it the tickly tree. Because the children, the grandchildren, loved having their heads tickled in that. The far corner was so overgrown uh, that when one day I got round to tidying it, I discovered there's a carpet full of, of weeds and roots about seven, eight, nine inches deep. And down the bottom was so uneven that when I said I was going to turn it into a lawn, everybody thought I was a bit mad. And it took ages to flatten it and then just put some seeds down. You can see nothing's perfect yet. But over the time, the garden's become a lovely place for family and grandchildren. It's taken quite a while. It's a bit of a parable to me of what it is like to follow God. Some things take a lot of rearranging. Our, there's stuff in our minds that needs rearranging. Stuff in our hearts needs rearranging. Stuff in our vision and hope that needs rearranging. And I wonder, as we think about the resurrection and try and take that to heart, what God will say to us about the things that need rearranging. What he wants to do, how he wants to change us. What are the priorities? If we stop and wait, what are God's priorities for us to listen to him? Father, I pray that just as this garden has been, re been rearranged over the years, you will be so rearranging our lives that we become more like your son Jesus, more aware of your power, more aware of your presence, more able to listen to your voice. Come, dear Lord, and speak to us. Set a fire in our hearts that no one can put out. Show us where to be patient where to be urgent. Lord, help us draw close to you and develop our relationship with you. Help us to grow in love for our brothers and sisters in faith. Help us to know how to serve your communities, the communities we live in. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the peace of God that passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us now and always. Amen.